I'm going to rattle off top 10 picks, and then we'll uh, we'll pick it apart and have some fun here. All right, here we go. The Chicago Bears. I have the Bears trading Justin Fields, taking Caleb Williams with the first pick. Uh, Bucky, uh, your Carolina Tar Heels quarterback, Drake May. I have him going to Washington at number two. Adam Peters, new, new, new head coach coming, new general manager in place. A lot of times that's accompanied by a new quarterback. Very close there with him and Jaden Daniels. Uh, we'll get into that discussion uh, as, after I get to these uh, top ten. Jaden Daniels going three to the Patriots. Marvin Harrison Jr., who I compared to uh, Larry Fitzgerald, goes to the Arizona Cardinals, falls in here, hit their lap at number four. The Chargers with a lot of uh, options here, which we'll get into. I had him taking Roma Dunze, the wide receiver from Washington. Another wide receiver goes six. Malik Neighbors to the Giants as they continue to search for some more speed. So we've got three quarterbacks followed by three wideouts. Then we get Joe Alt, the tackle from Notre Dame, go on to Tennessee uh, to try and help that anemic offensive line. The Falcons in their ever uh, forever pursuit of pass rushers that they never seem to be able to nail down. They get Dallas Turner out of Alabama with the eighth pick, followed by another pass rusher, Jared Verse, uh, out of Florida State to the Bears with their second pick. And then the tenth pick, um, it's the Jets, and I figure every mock draft will all be doing the same thing. We'll all take the tackles. Tackle, We're all going to shake tackle. them up in a jar, and we'll just pull a different one out every time uh, for the Jets, who feel like the most committed to a uh, position in this draft, which is uh, upgrading the offensive line. I had them taking Talisi Fuaga, one of my favorites, uh, out of Oregon State with the tenth pick. So that's the top ten. Eleven is uh, Byron Murphy, defensive tackle to the Minnesota Vikings. 12 is Terry and Arnold, uh, corner. Well, I think is the best corner in the draft. Mm-hmm. Is an excellent player going to the Denver Broncos to pair with uh, Pat Sertan. How about that tandem? I, to be yeah. honest with you, my my nuclear mock that I was uh, working on, I had him going fifth to the Chargers. And mm-hmm. you know, even with all those players oh, there, because the Chargers are so bad, okay. yeah, so bad at corner. <laughs> I thought this would be an option for them, but I, I yeah. didn't. I didn't think the world was ready for that yet. But I think Terry and Arnold has got a chance to be a top ten pick. Fashanu, here he goes off the board here yeah. uh, mm-hmm. to the Raiders at 13. Bo Nix, quarterback. <coughs> Buck, I mean, it just swallowed hard <coughs> to the New Orleans Whoop. Saints at 14. Mm-hmm. Brock Bowers, tight end, is going to be an interesting discussion based off the talent versus the positional value. He goes 15 to the Colts. Uh, Troy Fontenu, or Fatanu, I'll, I'll figure that pronunciation out. I pro- apologize, Troy, I'll get there. Uh, that is to the Seattle Seahawks at 16, someone who can play guard. Uh, it could be an all-pro type guard, but can play tackle if you needed to as well. They've invested in some young tackles. Uh, Quinion Mitchell, a corner from Toledo. Get to know that name. He's going to run in the low 4-3. He's going to test like a freak. He had a ton of ball production in 22. Wasn't challenged much in 23. He goes to Bucky's Jags where they have some needs there. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati, J.C. Latham, uh, a tackle who could be – he could be the seventh pick. I mean, he's – again, you shake up these tackles in whatever order yeah. you want. But the Alabama big tackle going to the Bengals. The Rams, I wanted to put a quarterback here. And I think there's a real chance they take a quarterback here. J.J. McCarthy. I would not rule that out. Yeah, yeah you got J.J. McCarthy there as well. What about Stetson uh, Bennett? I had him take – They got Stetson Bennett. Yeah, exa- they could take a quarterback. Uh, Liatu Latu, uh, edge rusher from UCLA, very talented. Um, he was going 19 there to the Rams. 20. Uh, why not go shopping at the same store? The Steelers go back to Georgia. Last year, they got mm-hmm. Broderick Jones, they got Danell Washington, the tight end. Now they're bringing in Marius Mims, and they're trying to build a big, physical, bully team there uh, in Pittsburgh. So there we go, 11 through 20. 21 to the Dolphins. I had fun with this one. I said, screw it. Let's take Brian Thomas Justin Jr. Jefferson. Let's just let's just take Brian Thomas Jr. and let's throw him in there with Tyreek Hill and Waddle. Right. Give him some size uh, to go along with the undersized speed merchants, and he can fly too. I think it'd be a fun weapon to have, especially if they're going to pay Tua. I get another reason to make him look even better uh, than he did this past year. Tyler Guyton to the uh, to the Eagles, a tackle from Oklahoma. As they are getting to the end of the line with one tackle from Oklahoma and Lane Johnson, they go back to Oklahoma and they get Tyler Guyton. Chop Robinson, edge rusher. Uh, going to Houston, uh, he's got big time big. juice. He's going to run like in the low four fours. He's a freak. Um, so yeah. you put him in there opposite of Will Anderson last year's first round pick. Jordan Morgan, uh, Tyron Smith is aging and he's up from a contract standpoint. They get Jordan Morgan tackle from Arizona. The Green Bay Packers have a type of offensive lineman they like. It's versatile guys who are intelligent. Graham Barton could play all five spots at a Duke. Uh, had him going to the Packers. One of my favorite corners, uh, Ennis Rakestraw from Missouri, going to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Cooper DeGene, the playmaking machine Love out that. of Iowa, going to the Arizona Cardinals, who, again, I think he could play any spot in the secondary. 
um, and uh, and also give you special teams value. I have uh, Newton, the DT from Illinois, going to the Buffalo Bills, who's got some pass rush inside. Now we get to kind of the best available portion uh, on the bottom of the first round. Devontae Walker, man, how about two Tar Heels going in the first round uh, to the Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs, the wide out. Uh, team up with Rasheed Rice, give them a nice one-two punch there of young players. Nate Wiggins, uh, who's going to be a really, really big-time tester, height, weight, speed corner out of Clemson going to the Lions. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Other corner out of Alabama, he goes 31 to San Francisco. Who, you know, the question on him, he's going to need to run well. That's the that's the concern with him in the evaluation process. The combine, the pro day will be big for him to just kind of alleviate some of those concerns. And then Troy Franklin, let's finish it up with another wide receiver. The Jeez. Baltimore Ravens, they mm. are stacked in that room now uh, with Zay Flowers yeah. doing what he did last year, OBJ doing his thing, and now you throw uh, Troy down. Franklin yeah, right. in the mix yeah. who can really, really go, uh, it, yeah, as well as Bateman. So they that would be a fun group there for Lamar Jackson. There you have it. That's Mach 1-0, boys.